So, how do we forecast the future if we don't have a crystal ball? Like the plants in your garden, crops need water, sunlight and nutrients to grow. Every single day, experts at the Joint Research Centre gather data from more than 4,000 weather stations right across Europe. We also observe crop fields through satellite imaging, track weather forecasts, calculate monthly crop production by country and use computer models of crop growth and development, all of which provide us with a huge amount of data. To bring this information together, we use something called the Mars Crop Yield Forecasting System. The system helps us to collate the data in a way that makes sense to our team. We call it a decision support system, and this is where our experts come in. Based at the Joint Research Centre in Ispra, Italy, our team uses its combined expertise in meteorology, agronomy, information technology and analysis to interpret the statistics provided by the forecasting system. The system helps to answer questions such as which crops might struggle this season, what regions might suffer due to reduced rainfall, might the weather conditions trigger a rise in pests. We use that information to make accurate forecasts for the most commonly grown crops in the EU. From soft wheat and maize, to spring barley and rice, and so on. Our team publishes its findings every month in the Mars Bulletin, available to all, for free, on the web. In short, the JRC's crop yield forecasts are the result of a powerful network of on- and off-the-ground observations, computer processing power and simulations, all combined with human expertise. Together, they help forecast the future of crop production in the European Union better than any crystal ball ever could.